Hey, what's up, rehabs across the world? Trent here, protecting my peace, man. Hiking and eating sunflower seeds. So if I have a sunflower seed on my, on my lip bar, I'm chewing, you know, it's disturbing, I'm sorry. All right, but I just want to give you guys a message while I was on my heart. And as a disclaimer, I'm not telling you not to go hard to better your life. I'm not telling you, you know, not to go hard with becoming the best you for your dreams, for your passion, for your vision. But a lot of people, and I see it so much now, they try so hard to be successful in the wrong way. I'm not talking about, you know, the right way, putting in the work, being consistent, you know, um, being who you were created to be. I'm talking about the wrong way. You know, trying to be something that you're not, to impress people who probably don't care about you anywhere, especially in this social media age. And we see all these people with numbers. We see all these people with likes and we say, okay, well, I'm not enough, which you are enough, but I'm not enough. So I have to be something different. I have to do what they do. You know, I have to be like them. I have to talk like them. I have to dress like them. And I want to be clear. There's nothing wrong with being influenced. There's nothing wrong with being inspired by people, but you shouldn't be so inspired that you lose who you are trying to become who they are. So stop trying so hard to be something that you weren't created to be. You know, stop trying so hard to impress people, to please everybody. I mean, that's how you drive yourself crazy. How do I know? Because that was me at one point. You know, I lived my life trying to please everybody and I wonder why my life was full of chaos. I wonder why my life was unbalanced because I realized that you know, whether it's a video, whether it's a message, somebody's gonna love it, somebody's gonna hate it. And if I sit here and try to please the person who hates it, guess what? Somebody else is gonna hate it. And you live a life full of chaos. You will never please everybody. The person you need to please is yourself. Staying loyal to your principles, staying loyal to your standards, staying loyal to the message or the gift and talent that God gave you. You know, so think about that. Listen, stop trying to be perfect. Like, forget perfection, forget it. It's about progression. You know, it doesn't feel good to make mistakes. It don't feel good to fall down. But I'm gonna tell you something, it feels great. Like when you fall down and you stand back up. It feels great when you make a mistake and you learn from it and you grow whatever area of your life from that. Like, nobody has perfection. The people that you're trying to impress that are so-called judging you, they don't have perfection, right? They just got a lot of filters over their life. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of filters over their life in real life, not just on social media. So don't sit here and feel like you have a, to live a life full of filters. You know, stop trying so hard. Stop trying so hard to look successful. You know, stop trying so hard to, to buy these things to make it look like you, you have it all. Like, why? All that's going to do is lead your life into a depression. I promise you that. What I need you to do is try hard to be you. Try hard to take that authentic gift, that real gift, that real talent, and give that to the world. Not some make-believe stuff that you think is going to work because you see it working for somebody else, so now you want to do it because somebody else is doing it. Because somebody else has a lot of followers or they're famous or they're rich, so now you want to do it. I'm talking about that gift. If you were the only person in this world that you would do because that's what you love to do. Like, try hard to do that. Try hard to be who you were called to be. Like, try hard to be real. You know, try hard to not live a, a filtered life. Like, in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, try hard to, to stop accepting less. You know, try hard to live your worth. Try hard to live your vision. Try hard to live your values. Try hard to live your beliefs. Like, try hard to do those things, those real things. Because then life becomes easier. Because you're not trying to be something that you're not. I get this question a lot, like, is it hard to do what you do? And I'm like, no. It was hard to live a life. Before this, when I was trying to be something that I wasn't, when I had to impress people, when I was trying to live up to this NFL facade, 
When I had to buy certain things, I had to go certain places to, to look the part, to play the part. Life was hard then because I was suffering off camera. But now, I'm me. I'm out here eating sunflower seeds. I don't care. I'm not trying to be perfect. Who cares? I have a message on my heart and somebody needs it. It might not be the best message in the world, but somebody needs it. So I don't have to sit here and lose sleep at night because I got to worry about impressing people in the world. I just be me. And that's what I want you to do. Do you be you to the fullest. Try hard to do that and I promise you everything else will take care of itself. Like I take it into every single video. It all starts with you. Keep moving forward, let nothing hold you back. LB be it. And never let this world take your smile. It's rehab time. Let's get it. And oh yeah, share this video. Because somebody out there living a filter life, they need to see this. Straight up.